the car from my trip to Arizona Infinity California license plates uh, in Arizona good times uh, Infinity Q70 3.7 liters uh, got a lot of bells and whistles but to be honest with you I miss my Honda I'm gonna get home so I can have my Honda back but yeah so uh, I will do all the details, well most of the details anyways, or at least my initial pros and cons about this car um, in the next clip of this video. Alright, so quick review of this car is we have leather seats all the way around, baby seat, um, two pocket holders, uh, I think this is the just a little cubby hole and that's really the back oh the uh, middle piece has cup holders and a little stash area or you have it armrest so you have two different pieces here and then of course you can get into the trunk that way um, but yeah so armrest or that but I like armrest and that not a big fan of that. The trunk is a decent sized trunk. A decent sized trunk. But, um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it that way. Uh, your standard tire there, jack stuff. Put that down. Down. Um, so the trunk has got the release from the inside. If you ever get stuck on the inside, you can pull that, but we don't need to do that. Uh, so this has the easy lock, or I don't know what it's called, but you click it just slightly and it'll close by itself. And now the inside. So, here are a few things that, oop, my cup from yesterday, my sunglasses, and those. Alright, so, uh, push start, so push start, push the brake, and you'll see the seat and the steering wheel has preset one or two, so if I hit two, it changes. Whoa! Whoa! I am literally. Holy crap! I just got like this close to it. It's still going. Whoa! <laughs> this person was short. Holy crap! Uh, let's first press that one. Oh, okay. That's a lot better. Oh, that's a lot better. Um. So, a couple things that to me are not the best in order to uh, change the brightness of the uh, display you got to push the button here as you can see right there bright max and turn it lower um, over here you can reset your trips here and change it from A to B and then press it hold it down to reset it now this is what I don't like this on the Honda is on the is on the um, steering wheel so as you see in the middle I press the little button I can change the displays I can change the little what I'm seeing right there on that little digital part the challenge with that is, is I gotta take my hand off the steering wheel to do it or I have to stop and do it um, so not a big fan of that um, okay so, this Infinity Q70 comes with navigation. Um, I turned, uh, turned the setting last night, turned it to off. It is a touch screen. I'm turning the setting to display back to uh, where it's always on. Um, it does have Bluetooth, mail, uh, vehicle settings, navigation, audio settings, volume, clock. Uh, in touch service voice recognition camera sensors you can turn those on or off 
the good thing about it is somebody gets too close it starts beeping so let me, let me show you what it looks like so here's what the backup camera looks like you got this for you and they got the aerial view so if I turn the wheels the steering wheel you'll see the wheels right there turn and it re-angles somebody gets too close there's sensors on the back end right here sensors on the front and on the sides so anybody walking by a car gets too close uh, it'll start beeping at you uh, it also has the regular analog clock uh, which is a little dated but whatever to each his own then you have your control panel here and you can zoom in or out on the navigation as you can see and zoom in out so depending on where you're going your climate controls are here your um, temperature gauges are here on both sides and your info you can install apps if you want to um, status tells you where you're at from an internal standpoint uh, settings you have like I said all the different settings uh, audio gives us all of our preset channels and we can keep going the good thing about this one is you can preset AM FM uh, Sirius Sirius radio all on the same um, channel or all on the same stream of uh, presets so you don't have to go from eight you don't have to change um, sources in order to in order to get to the preset channels that you have on that source so that's not bad uh, Bluetooth or uh, iPod hookup so if you got your iPod hooked up to the USB that's inside the armrest that works you have your volume control CD player still um, and your preset channels and your radio there uh, one good thing I do like about this car um, is the sport setting I cleaned up some mess over here. What? The sport setting on this car is very nice. Um, your regular outlet there, a little cubby hole for stuff, your phone or what, what, what not. But um, so on this one, it's just a little knob. So you have snow setting, econ, standard, and then sport. So you can just sit here and turn it back and forth when you need uh, whichever one you want to go on. It does have heated seats. Um, that's good two cup holders here in the middle uh, your regular uh, mirror doesn't have the flip mirror which I like to put it on to, to affect the high beams or the nightly brights because these new cars that have LEDs are very bright lights uh, <coughs> excuse me sunroof whoa whoa uh, to tell you the truth I don't even know how to open that thing but oh wait it's probably one of these buttons here oh yeah there it goes Yep, open the sunroof. You have your regular light switches here, your dome light, and your back lights there. Uh, but we will close this. Oh, that is bright. Your uh, eyeglass, sunglass, or holder. That's really about it. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the engine, um, but I'll put up uh, pictures about that since I'm not going to pop the hood and do all that stuff. I'll put some specs up about the wheels, uh, but driving it is is very quiet car uh, until you put it in sport mode and you floor the sucker. Uh, but overall, very quiet, very comfortable. Um, I just miss the things that I miss about my Honda is the brake hold is genius uh, because I don't have to hold my foot on the brake every time. Uh, I also um, enjoy the Honda. Uh, the touch screen and the digital movements that I can do just all from the steering wheel instead of having to press different buttons take my eyes off the wheel take or my hands off the wheel take my eyes off the road and do things like that so it made it very um, friendly from the steering wheel standpoint which is very good both have touch screens um, this one has nav this one does have internet does have Wi-Fi it comes with that um, and yeah uh, doesn't have Lane assist departure warnings doesn't have the keep you in your lane and the self driving um, mechanism that the Honda has, so I'm a little disappointed in that. Um, but the 2019 Q70 will have um, the brake hold on it, uh, does not have uh, the other ones, I didn't read too much on it, but does not it will have the brake hold in 2019. Uh, or at least that's what the reports are until that comes out I will believe it when I see it so 
that is um, the review. Like I said, the whole interior is 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 uh, leather. Um, the dash is is little out there from a from a distance standpoint. You gotta lean forward unless you're very tall and you can reach it. Um, plastic, which gives the appearance of wood grain, but it is plastic. See, plastic. Um, but definitely uh, one of the higher end um, luxury cars. Still, I'll take my Honda any day. Uh, miles per gallon is um, average 31. My Honda is about 30 as well. And this is city and highway driving, so about the same. And um, yeah, they not as roomy, I don't think, in the back as the Honda is, but that's just my personal opinion overall. It, um, and then, of course, the my receipts, let me get those out of the way. But uh, yeah, they two. So you have a micro S, you have SD slot, um, you have your two USBs, and your cigarette lighter there. But yep, that is that's it, that's the car. All right, if you have any questions, comments, uh, leave them down below, like, subscribe, all that wonderful good jazz. All right, um, oh, one thing about the transmission it's regular standard or it's shift so i can manually shift or or i can put it on automatic so the one thing that i did find out that was um difficult not difficult but um that uh was that i found out when i was making a left hand turn my hand was on this i was using my obvious left hand to turn the wheel but as my hand was on this it easily just slides over so it slid over into manual uh, accidentally so that was you know I'd like it to have to push the button or something to move over but it doesn't see that just push the button so or just move the move the uh, shifter over so uh, that was a, a little bit of a surprise as I was turning the corner it went it's a lot of water one two three four five things of water and three things four things of gatorade Infinity Q70 3.7 is the rented car for the weekend. It's nice, it's high. I'll take my Honda though. So, let's show you the, don't worry about that. Let's show you the back of the camera. There's the camera. Shopping cart. 